Hey, this is Brandon with Coastal Woodworking and Concrete Design. Today we're going to do a quick video of the unwrapping and setup of our new Powermatic PM2000B table saw with a 50 inch rip and a router table insert on the end. This is our first cabinet table saw in the shop and we are excited. We've been using the Delta 725T2 contractor saw for over a year. It was a great saw, but when you run as much wood through one as we have, it just didn't hold up. The motor eventually couldn't even get through two by fours. So the basic setup of the table saw was super self-explanatory, really just hold up the parts and screw them in. No, really. See a hole, fill a hole. Do you need, fill a need. It really is that easy. This is just the router fence, and it was equally as simple as screwing the parts together. The whole system comes with instructions, and we barely had to look at them during the setup. After getting the fence rails in for the router table, the fun begins because then you have to level the insert to the table so you can get those good cuts you need when using a router table. Here, take a look as we put it together, and I'll show you how to use the base screws to accomplish this. This one right here, come down. One more, right there. Go to the other corner on that side, Gary. This end, that side, down, right there. Pretty close. That's pretty damn good. To go to that last corner and just half a click. Corner. Yep. Down. Yep. Whoa. Much. Too much. Right there. That's pretty damn good. After you level it, you have to install the top screws to do the final fasten and to get the top to its final resting place. Now, we're installing the actual router to the table. This was also not rocket science. You simply push it through and have someone hold it at the top while you screw in the bolts from the bottom to secure it. That's it. It was at this point we realized the saw wasn't level to our outfeed table, so we crafted some very technical feet. Yeah, we leveled them by joining and planing them on our new jet planer joiner combo, which we'll be doing a review on in the near future as well. Once at our desired thickness, simply slide them under the table saw. And now we're ready to start making sawdust. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel to see our full review of this saw after putting it to the test over the next few months. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.